Skip some loading there. A letter from Lou. His insurance policy names me beneficiary. California Fire and Life. You look for an Asian. The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator. Jack Kelso, and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? Do you want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help Mr. Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He's a friend of yours? He hates my guts. Elsa, you take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to love with him. Really, it's too late. Years too late. So he's a dirty cocksucker then. What an asshole, he should rot in hell. What? I got seven? I guess that you don't have a choice. Miss. I'm playing him now. There's no need to come to the office. I'd like to move you. Accept the settlement. All you need to do is sign here. I don't accept. The what do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. It seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean, you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been a victim of her play. Okay. You get the case filed. got to be more in these files. And... Sounds like your friend took a hell of a fall. Sorry for your loss. Okay. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. Wait, I'm playing him now. So she just comes in here, asks him to... Re to open the case again, and he just, okay, let's do it. <laughs> what basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. You want me to reopen this case based on your woman's intuition? That isn't going to happen. Take the money. I've already told you I do not want the money. You and Buck Walter weren't married? No. 
And how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. That's bullshit. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. You really want to know? Yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island. Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. You see the irony in that, Mr. Castle. We spent four years there. So the roof collapsed. Accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Ms. Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. Intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. I've told you what I know, Mr. Carso. What are you going to do about it? All right, Miss Lichtman. One final question. Yes. What's your address? Is that usual? Is there anything usual about this case, Miss Lichtman? The address is on the letter, Mr. Carson. The address? Not the phone number. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack, upstairs. So I'm playing this douchebag now. Okay, I don't really want to play Cole anyway. He's an asshole. Which way? I think people that do this are annoying. They have Mr. a little Benson, golf thing. You wanted to see me? Oh, yes, Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I noticed Elsa Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lickman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lickman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think... She's the beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Well, Miss Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that She's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Okay. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Your car, Mr. Kelso. Thanks, kid. Can't do any street crimes with this guy, right?
What about he's gonna smell meat coal? Yeah, you treat me 